All right, everybody. So what I have here today is what's known as the uh, one finger clutch adjustment or uh, clutch throw lever. Not to be confused with like your actual clutch lever, but this is kind of the other side in the operating mechanism. So what it comes with is this bracket and uh, it feels like lightweight aluminum, but as you can see, it's angled outward. That'll be important a little bit later on. And then it comes with this. Here's the bracket. And when I got it, uh, that nut was not on. This was actually installed backwards, so I had to adjust that. And then this was not installed in the correct orientation as well. Uh, inside of this, it's hex. There's a hex on it that allows this to kind of be set in different positions. And then there's a bolt on top, Avil. Um, install was pretty easy for this. Uh, I just undid that, uh, positioned it accordingly and uh, add some Loctite to make sure it doesn't come out. Uh, overall length is about the same. This actually is a little bit shorter, but um, everything else dimension-wise is the exact same to include where this relief cut is and everything else. Quality seems pretty good, uh, not too bad. Um, what this is supposed to do, and in fact I'll show you on top, is there's actually another notch on there for adjustability as well. Uh, it's very similar to the, the sh short shifter that I have, so to speak, on the uh, the shifter mechanism. And by having a longer arm here, you're able to um, get more force out of it uh, because there's a longer lever. Um, so that applied force is magnified, you know, much greater. Um, so what that means is that it requires less force from your actual hands in order to disengage the clutch. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull the OEM one out. That's the OEM unit. Pretty simple. Um, I'll go ahead and use the eight mil and that one. Okay. And one, two. And the easiest way I find is to pull this like that. Let's see if I can get this one handed. Oh yeah. Okay. Rotate. And then you'll lift out. There it is. And then this, that'll slide out. So doing a comparison. Footprint's similar, right? As I mentioned before, slight angle to it. Okay, straight piece. And that's to help direct it uh, a little bit inward of the bike just because of this longer lever arm. So if you look, obviously, one is much longer than the other. I guess not much, too much longer if you were to line it up but it's enough to make a difference. There's a recess here for the spring as well. So we'll go ahead and take this out. Okay. Let me slide that on here. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Okay. Rotate around and there it is. So now what we're gonna do is we'll slide this in. Now you'll have to bring it kind of facing towards you and you'll just kind of rotate around. You should feel it, where's it at? You should feel it lock in, there it goes. And then notice the spring portion, that spring will rest against the case housing here. So you want to make sure that's located in that area. See how it rotates. All right, now, Let's uh, slide this on like that. And we're gonna have to pull, well, hold on. Let's see, and we will, it's a little bit difficult. All right, I'm gonna set you down for two seconds. There it goes. Okay, there we go. Bear with me now. So, pull that back, 
slot that in. Okay. So, get that slotted in now. That's just kind of resting. You notice it's kind of far back. That's because uh, whenever I'm doing this, I usually pull the cable that way. Pulling the cable that way helps give you more, uh, takes the tension off so that you can uh, get this off without having to fight the lever arm too much. So I'm gonna pull it that way now. So, okay, there we go. And then insert our bolts back in. And my typical reminder as always is made out of Swiss cheese. So don't go crazy on these. All right, that's pretty much all she needs. Now, there's a couple of jam nuts here. Uh, I want to say it's a 14 mil and a 13 mil off the top of my head. Yes, they're both supposed to be on this side. I don't know why. It doesn't make any damn sense, but that's just how KTM designed it. Um, I know that I'm probably going to have to, let's see. Yeah, see all that slack. Still a bunch. So I'm going to have to go through and adjust this quite a bit. Okay, so let's adjust this out. All right, and then we will, man, this is not fun to get to. I forgot about that. There we go. And then to the, we'll just keep adjusting that. Trying to keep this one under 10. Don't think it's gonna happen. So whoever that guy is that made that comment on how long my videos are, I don't really actually care. I, uh, I literally make them because as I'm doing this stuff for myself, uh, it's much easier for me to um, answer questions by just having a video for you to look at. Uh, that way uh, at the end of the day, I don't have to sit there and type out on my phone 7,000 things when there's an archive available for you to look at. So, um, you know, whether you choose to watch videos or not watch videos is entirely up to you. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, as I mentioned before, feel free to make your own. And I will gladly come watch it. Okay, that feels pretty good. So, let's see the throw. Alright, I still got to do some adjusting. See in the top there how I've got it's a little bit more gap than I like. Feels pretty good though. I would say it definitely feels lighter. But I definitely have some more adjusting to do. So, that's the general premise of it though. I mean, I definitely do feel like it does have a lighter throw to it, which is good. So, that might be good for somebody uh, that might need it. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Easy peasy, nothing to it. If you have any questions, uh, definitely feel free to comment and let me know.